kids. Hi parents. My name is Jamie. I'm the author of Wilbert the Wombat picture book series and I'm here to read you a story. So I hope you enjoy. Today we're reading Wilbert the Wombat Saves the Day. This book is dedicated to my niece and nephew who reminded me of the magic that lives in books and to my husband family, and dearest friends. In my heart, I know without them, this book would not exist. Far, far away in the land down under, where the wombats and wallabies do play. There lived a wombat whose name was Wilbert. In his burrow is where he liked to stay. All day long he would eat and sleep and dig, and only paws were disturbed from above. By the pitter-patter of stomping paws, showering him with dust he did not love. Why be with others, he thought grumpily, when you can build a burrow for just one. Ignoring the dust he kept on digging, for a wombat's work was never done. Then one day, with hunger in his belly, Wilbert crawled out of his burrow to eat. As he opened his door, he almost yelped, for a small wallaby hopped on his feet. Oh, I'm sorry, sir, squeaked the wallaby. I did not see you. Where did you come from? Ignoring her question, he quickly said, I'm busy eating. Go back to your mom. Wendy was her name and eagerly asked, you're so big, round, and fuzzy. Who are you? Wilbert, sighing in annoyance, answered, Wilbert the Wombat, now go on and shoo. She hopped with delight, ignoring his plea. But I've never met a wombat before. Wilbert thought for a moment and then replied, I leave my burrow to eat, not much more. Surprised by his response, she quickly asked, But Mr. Wilbert, how do you find mates? Who would need them, he harumphed with a snort. Goodbye, wallaby, my burrow awaits. Back in his burrow, Wilbert ate and chewed and dug his home to be bigger than he. Until one day, he heard a racket above, causing much dirt to fall. What could it be? Waddling up to the burrow's front door, there he met Wendy, so scared with worry. Wendy shouted, Wallaby, what's wrong? She cried, fire's coming this way, hurry. Wendy shared, we must push on to escape. My little family can no longer stall. Wilbert replied, can you hop fast enough? She whimpered, I fear not, I'm very small. Without thinking twice, Wilbert then replied, into the burrow you'll go till it's past. Wendy blinked in surprise. My family too? He replied, yes, all the little ones, fast. For the next few minutes, Wilbur would herd and into his burrow they all did go. It might have been silly to see them all huddled up in the burrow in one row. Hours later, as the silence set in, they left the burrow all alive and well. Wendy thanked Wilbert for helping her friends. I'm more grateful than you can even tell. Wendy and her parents smiled at him. If you're ever in need, please let us know, she offered, truly meaning every word. I'll keep that in mind, and he turned to go. But as he spun to leave, he thought to say, Wallaby, may I ask what you're named? Wendy smiled, knowing this meant he cared. It's Wendy, sir she happily proclaimed. With a quick nod and reply, Wilbert left, waddling back to his burrow's front door. Tidying up after his many guests, Wilbert dusted and cleaned the walls and floor. It was hours later when he heard noise and the rattling caused such dust to fall. I'd better check what's going on up there. I don't want there to be trouble, that's all. There he found Wendy and her family, and this had clearly become their home base. Instead of feeling annoyed with this news, he smiled to think of sharing this place. 
So Wilbert went back down to his burrow and he continued to dig through the night. He really wanted his home big enough in case others needed it again, right? That's all for now. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day, a good evening, and sweet dreams.